Riveting content. Empowering your life. Welcome to the sphere. This episode is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Welcome back to your show. I can't even speak this morning, y'all. I'm kind of off, but welcome back to your show. Um, a la carte, where we're, where we're hosting the best chefs and caterers in Houston. I'm your host, Chef Jones, with Good Meal Deals, personal chef services, where we're customizing the best part of the day for you. You can find me on social media, on Facebook, Good Meal Deals, or you can find me on Instagram, Good Meal underscore deals. Just look for that friendly, colorful pot of fruits and veggies. How are you doing today? I am good. I'm good. Hello, everyone. Chef Laurinette with Helping Hands Food Delivery in Houston, Texas. Food delivery and catering. Um, uh, biggest, boldest flavors, freshest ingredients. So, oh, welcome yeah. back to another lovely episode. As Chef Robin said, as always, we have a couple of things for you guys in store today. Uh, food-based news, some kitchen safety techniques, a wonderful recipe. I was going to say bomb, but, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. a wonderful recipe. And... Um, just some industry news and things that are going on within the industry. We have a super cool DIY uh, kitchen safety hacks for you guys. So it's going to be really cool to go over that today. We have a video oh, for you. Yeah, so. I got to get my words right today. <laughs> While Chef Robin is working on her words. <laughs> I got to get my words right today. It's okay, we are going to hop into um, the unimaginable words. Uh, <laughs> McDonald's is in the news this week. Um, and they're in the news for something not so great. It's kind of a you know touchy subject mm -hmm. um they have oh, the topic came up because McDonald's their stock prices have slipped because of news of hepatitis a mm -hmm. so a mcdonald's worker mm -hmm. was confirmed to be infected with hepatitis a wow. um and they're basically monitoring all employees anyone who's eaten at mcdonald's through may 12th wow That's so crazy and then up to 50 anyone who's been at McDonald's through May 12th because it can take up to 50 days after exposure mm. for hepatitis A so symptoms to develop. you didn't even know until 50 days. It's almost like a month and what? That's two months. Basically, Basically yeah. two months. Two months before you find out if you infected from or you, McDonald's. Or before you show any symptoms. Or well, symptoms. Because then once you have symptoms, <laughs> you may not know that it's hepatitis A. You may assume yeah. that it's a cold. Mm -hmm. They were saying that the symptoms of it are similar to like That's stomach crazy. aches, cramps, cold, flu, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, um, it, you may not know. May not know. That's scary. But McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Again, again. McDonald's. Um, oh. So, we'll <laughs> read from the article. We'll show you guys a couple of key points in the article. They were talking about the employee that was infected. So, they are in Kentucky. They're not in Texas, which is like praise hands. Mm -hmm. um, sad for the people in Kentucky. But in glades road it's a mcdonald on glades road in barrera kentucky that's the one the official location where the employee was um confirmed infected and people were potentially exposed now they did confirm that the um employee was picked up 
like the story was picked up by local news media outlets and stuff like that so they have been notified mm -hmm. the residents of the area have been notified and then I, I thought this was kind of finger pointing similar <laughs> reports in recent months involving independent restaurants and lower profile chains including Waffle House have oh, not wow. generated as much interest so, oh, so they point fingers on they trying to take the the heat off of McDonald's yes point to somebody else come on that's a smaller you know so basically the um their stock has lost about a dollar and 72 cents each mm. in a matter of three days wow more than a one percent drop so that's that's a pretty significant drop but it's a pretty significant reason um, McDonald's did say that they are fully cooperating with the local and state health officials to investigate the case. Mm. So, wow. I was trying to fi figure out if this person was um, just in the restaurant or were they someone who directly touched or handled food? Yeah, that's um, the question. You don't even know who it is. Yeah, I did not see those details. Yeah, they didn't tell you. But I would assume that everyone in the restaurant at some point is at least in a proximity of the food, yeah. whether it's cooked or frozen, because we know they, they use frozen. I mean, frozen. you got to think about how many <laughs> kids go to McDonald's. Come yes, on. Yes, yes. I mean, just their traffic that. on a daily basis is, yes, I'm it's, sure, it's astronomical. Crazy. You don't, and the people on the drive throughs you know, you don't know if they just passing through, this is a pit stop, mm -hmm. or like, you don't know. So, that's, so. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that shade back. <laughs> <laughs> so the advice to the customer is oh, this Lord. is uh, reading directly from the article. Mm -hmm. It says that food workers um, are increasingly becoming infected, which has the potential of expo exposing large members of people, like we we're saying, because they have so many people in the restaurant at one time. Mm -hmm. um, it says the majority of victims so far have been homeless substance abusers or both um, people who are infected with hepatitis A. Um, are increasingly being identified in people who are neither homeless nor substance abusers. Wow. So the question is, you know, how, where did this person contract it? You know, um, mm. it says for the past 12 to 18 months, cities and counties and states across the country have been fighting a highly contagious virus. So they've had an increase in this strain of hepatitis A. Wow. It was identified in California, which was the first state to declare the outbreak, but now they found it in Kentucky as well. That's crazy. So, I mean, they said the majority of the victims so far, mm -hmm. homeless, substance abusers. For hepatitis A, period. Oh, wow. So, the fact so that I this mean, is this person, was this person dealing with somebody homeless or something? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it was a good deed gone wrong. But That's nasty. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, typically, <laughs> well, they're saying typically people who have hepatitis A are okay homeless or substance abuse Man, users. That was a bad break. Right not there. that they're the only ones, <laughs> but like we were saying, the symptoms include um, the last paragraph shows the different symptoms of hepatitis A, which wow. they were saying are. It was I know the vomiting and. Abdominal pains. Yeah, stools. so fever, jaundice, gray colored stools, dark oh, wow. urine, abdominal pain, vomiting, fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, joint pain, and they usually resolve, symptoms usually resolve in two months, mm. but can last six months or longer. Generally, few people require hospitalization, but the ongoing multi state uh, outbreaks has the, an unusually high percentage of victims admitted to the hospital. So oh. it can be spread when an infected person does not wash his or her hands properly after going to the restroom and then touches an object or food, or caregivers who do not properly wash their hands after changing diapers, cleaning up the stool of an infected person, um, or sexual contact and other close personal contact with an infected person can result in spreading the infection. Wow. Well, that give us a, a, a look into possibilities it could be a mcdonald's worker or that's all i can see a mcdonald's worker somebody that slept with somebody somebody that went to the bathroom and didn't wash their hands so well it, i mean the worker was confirmed to have hepatitis a yeah, but so he could have contracted it in any, any numerous way, yeah. number of ways amount of ways mm. not, pleasant, not pleasant not pleasant not pleasant at all so and it's costing it's mcdonald's happen. money in you know in <laughs> the long run money. So, speaking of the money that they are losing, <laughs> we want to let you guys know that this portion of the show is sponsored by the Houston Housewives of Finance. Mm -hmm. Did you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 33% or more than 77 millions of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 
39% of Americans create credit card debt from month to month, and 39% of adults say they don't have enough savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewife of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463 or email us at info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Ask us how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of financial services. Oh, yeah. So that... McDonald's may need their help pretty soon. They need it. They need it to get them financials in order after this kind of hit. So. Well, and because also in conjunction with that, something that we'll talk about in future episodes, mm-hmm. there's also the lettuce recall that affects yeah. lettuce and all of the fast food chains are oh, yeah. using them. Um, and Texas was recently added to that list He's this week. To the, yeah. So, oh, yeah, I mean, I you know, it's a lot one. going on out there. <laughs> Just be careful what you're eating. Kinda don't be rude mindful. to the service people in the fast food restaurants. We don't need any extra. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, I can't say it's not their fault. I really don't know who fault it is. It's already bad enough <laughs> that we got recalls and hepatitis A and listeria and bacteria and it's contamination. A lot going on right now, so and, just got to be you know, mindful what yeah. you're going to buy from the store and what you're going out spending your money at, at the fast food restaurants. I mean, you paying for what you get. Exactly. That's basically what it boils down to. You yes. pay for what you get. So what we're going <laughs> to talk about today on our uh, educational tip and technique, how to preserve the food that you're buying, how to preserve it longer. Mm. So we're trying to, you know, we've showed you guys how to um, purchase fresher foods. Now we're going to show you how to preserve them so you don't have to keep going to fast food restaurants. Oh, yeah. So for everyone who's watching, we have a video for you. For everyone who's just listening, we'll kind of narrate for you a little bit and go over some of the details, some really cool tips and techniques, and a few questionable ones. (laughs) Very questionable. (laughs) But overall, some really good information. (laughs) So oh, yeah. we're going to hop into the video and show you guys this. So the first is how to vacuum seal meats um, to prevent freezer burn, which I've actually done this before. I think anyone who's worked in culinary probably has done it. Yeah. You can put <laughs> meats or vegetables or anything else into a Ziploc bag and leave when you start to zip it, leave a little bit of an air pocket in there, dip it in some warm water and that warm water will press the air out of the bag and then seal it shut while it's still in the water and mm. voila, you have vacuum sealed meats wow. or veggies. Ew, strawberries. Now this <laughs> one is about how to preserve your fruits and vegetables. Um, we know that they have pesticides and the chemicals on them to preserve them you know, in the shipping process. This is how to clean them and keep them from rotting or molding so fast. Uh, water and apple cider vinegar, dip the whole container in there, let it coat the vegetables and they're preserved. Wow, they had the best brand, too. Yep. <laughs> moldy bread. How to get rid of moldy bread. This is one of those questionable ones that questionable. I've never heard before. I know. Um, they put a <laughs> stalk of celery, one single stalk of celery, in the bag of bread, like just on the side there, and supposedly it keeps the bread from wow. molding. I'm not sure how, mm. but it does. I don't know. It's very strong, so. Yeah. Stale cookies. I think we've all done this one before. If you put a slice of bread in the cookie jar, um, mm-hmm. it has to be in an air seal tight cookie jar that will keep the cookies from getting stale and hard. Yeah. Um, the bread absorbs it and keeps the cookies moist. It does. And it soft. keeps the sugar, uh, you know, mm-hmm. just like what they say, put some bread in the brown sugar. That's what your grandma tell you. Yeah, it keeps it from clumping up. Mm-hmm. Now this one, the milk, eh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I think we all went, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> They put, that was seven sprinkles of table salt in the milk. I was like, what? And shook it up. Because, I mean, I don't drink milk, so. I don't drink milk a lot, but I definitely <laughs> cannot see me putting table salt in my milk. That's to keep the milk from spoiling. Mm-hmm. Now, this is bananas. Um, keeping the bananas from going bad so quickly now this is a really cool idea and i think this would makes a lot of sense because it keeps the moisture which is the climate they grow in yeah so when you get a bunch of bananas or a, what is it called a, the bunch? a bunch i guess Just wrap bunch. your plastic bag <laughs> around the stem of it and it mm-hmm. keeps it moist and this is wilted lettuce this is a good hack too for the greens mm-hmm you know, restaurants usually uh, do this when they have them stored at night, put a cool something on it to absorb it, and mm-hmm. then just and still wrap it in plastic. But I use a, a wet napkin. Yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. It really helps to absorb, uh, absorb 
all the moisture. Yeah. Keeps your lettuce from getting all wilted and soggy and wet at the bottom. Oh, man. But I think that was our last one. Yes. So So some really cool tips. Like I said, I was pretty cool with all of them i just was unsure Iffy about the milk about the bread and the milk one. the bread even i could probably with get over it i can get over it. adding celery to bread adding salt to milk i would milk. just be worried with my bread would just it's so absorbent that it will absorb that celery yeah you know taste. maybe so. let's hope not Man. so Man. we want to know what you guys think we let sure us do. know have you used any of those tips techniques do you plan to? What did you think about the salt in the milk or the celery in the bread and bread in the cookies and all of that good stuff? Yes. Which um, one is your favorite? So exactly. We know. <laughs> Let us know. So for all of our Facebook Live viewers, we want to um, thank you for joining us. And also we want to ask that you subscribe to our show on all major platforms, including iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Review our show in iTunes with constructive feedback. Share this Facebook Live post and the entire show with your friends and family. And always, you can donate to our mission to bring enriched and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thesphere.tv slash donate. Oh, yes. But we have to end this lovely Facebook Live session of green tea, as I say. (laughs) Spilling the beans just a little bit. But you guys already know what to do. Chef Lornette just told you, make sure you are following and subscribing. That way you can go ahead. And when this goes off, you can like, oh, okay, I ain't worried about that. I can go Pop finish right watching the show. So our recipe for today, just to give you a little sneak peek, we're going to talk about quinoa bowls. Oh, yes. Everybody so. who knows what quinoa is knows it's very, very good. It's good and healthy. free and just, man. And it's really um, flexible. Yes, it is. So. You can do so many things with it. So, so we're going to hop right into our recipe oh, and yeah. talk about our quinoa bowls. <laughs> and we're going to go over our good, better, best ingredients for you first. And so... Obviously, we're going to need some quinoa. Yes. <laughs> and it doesn't matter which quinoa you do, the red, the tricolor, or black. We're uh, going to use, for our bowl <laughs> in the traditional way, we're going to use quinoa, tomatoes, mm-hmm. mushrooms, zucchini, garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Oh, super yes. simple, super quick, easy, fresh ingredients. Um, this is no meat, no fish, no poultry. Mm-hmm. It's going to be... This is almost, uh, it can be a paleo, paleo. kind of meal, Uh with quinoa that's what pop in my head every time i think about quinoa and vegetables and paleo (laughs) so that's our traditional um if you want to get a little fancy we can use some fresh herbs chicken shrimp or scallops feta cheese dressing um some type of sauce or asparagus that would make it a little fancy it's a little fancy and then of course we have the best way which is the healthy way where you could use sweet potatoes, you can do spinach, uh, artichoke hearts, you can do avocados, cauliflower. I mean, we the put a, we on. put a couple up here, but you can go as deep as you want to go with this. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to go too far because I got a lot of things. But the list goes on and on and on, on and on and on. And on the so. fancy way, when we're talking about dressing, um, that's mm-hmm. more of a, a created dressing, like an olive yeah. oil vinaigrette. A pesto, maybe yeah. um, a it tahini. Just, it depends on what they're looking for. If you want something more sweet, you could do a strawberry uh, or a raspberry vinaigrette. Or mm-hmm. it just depends on the taste that you have. Because your moment. quinoa is going to so. absorb that flavor yeah, that you're is. putting on because it's it's a very um, especially if they cook it properly. Yes. Where it, you know it once sprouts, it sprouts, it's yeah. a very floral. It's like a little flower. So. Yeah. So we are doing quinoa bowls today. Oh, yes. And we'll talk about some of the options. So we, we mentioned you can even do a fish. We didn't have a fish up there. Yeah. Um, a salmon. You can do. Um, it's just, it goes on and on and on. And, and it's on. pretty healthy <laughs> as is. So there's uh-huh. not a ton of options besides the flavor profile. So yeah. if you want more of a Greek option, more of a Italian option, a traditional, basically you create that with the type of vegetables that you put on there. Yeah, same too. Also with your herbs and spices that basically makes a meal. I mean, mm-hmm. cuisines itself they are not complex it's just all about knowing your spices and herbs to use to give it that mediterranean that indian uh exactly the the flair that you're looking for that flair that you're looking for but of course when we're talking about flares you want your teeth to look good so you give off that good glare when you smile Mm -hmm. and that just brings me to this point of the show that is sponsored by elite dental wellness at elite dental wellness our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness we are committed to the finest possible oral care and overall health and well-being of our patients 
Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable, but Dr. Batiste and her team works tirelessly to ensure your comfort. So make sure you book your appointment today with Dr. Sandra Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. Also, as I always say, make sure when you do call, you say the sphere to receive that 10% off. It goes a long way. So, hey, if you're looking for that flare and that glare, <laughs> get your teeth right by going to Elite Dental Elite Wellness. Elite Dental Wellness. They're going to hook you up, for real. And you get 10% off. You can't go wrong. Cannot beat that. <laughs> That ten percent and make this quinoa bowl. <laughs> All right, that ten percent you that use extra that to go ingredients. To the so get yes, get your ingredients. So, so a couple out. other things on the <laughs> ingredients list that we mentioned. Um, mm-hmm. We had cauliflower, so that would be roasted cauliflower. Yes, you would roast that cauliflower in the oven fifteen to twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. Extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, maybe garlic, your your preference. Yeah. The spinach. We're talking fresh or sautéed spinach. Fresh I or think sauteed. either way you want to go. Yeah. It's going to depend on again the type of flavors that you're looking for. Flavor you going for um with the shrimp we did a lemon garlic butter shrimp yes we did uh, brown butter Man, herb delicious so yes. so good tomatoes you can either buy a whole tomato and dice it or get the small tomatoes and half them yeah, mushrooms there's, there's so many tomatoes out there yes yeah. mushrooms <laughs> we're talking about sauteing them these are going to be typically cooked ingredients before mm-hmm. the zucchini we roasted them we diced it and roasted in the oven for 10 15 minutes before we put it on the bowl mm-hmm. and with the quinoa like chef robin mentioned we, there's so many different variations of it there's the red yeah. tricolor or black yeah so um, you don't you don't want to be afraid to get creative with this yes. i mean it's something it i guess i can't say quinoa you have to have an acquired taste for it because a lot of people is a debate about it like oh, i think it's just I a like visual it visual and i think a lot of people don't cook it correctly they do not so when they eat it they be like oh my gosh i mean i like healthy stuff but this quinoa is not working and me (laughs) i'm a cheater i put salt on my quinoa like just a a pinch in the water i put a pinch of salt and maybe pepper or butter or maybe all three that's that's not bad that's not bad (laughs) wink wink maybe all three in the water when um, y'all them gems boy yes as it's cooking (laughs) Um, you have to follow the instructions with the quinoa. You, you have, have to, to <laughs> rinse it before you cook it. Yes, you do. Otherwise, it's going to be mushy. You have to let it cook with the top on mm-hmm. for the full 15 to 20 minutes, yes. or else it's going to be soggy. Like, you have to yes. follow the instructions on the quinoa. It is the, the instructions going to get you where you need yeah. to be. Like, it is a longer process than traditional rice. Yes, it is. It's a much longer process, <laughs> and it's more steps than traditional rice. No, like but it's a rice different that type you can of grain. You in the bag and just steam it. You can't do quinoa like that. <laughs> steam it. <laughs> bag no you cannot do it like that because it got to get fluffed and rinsed and that requires like having you know a strainer to i mean there's some rice out there now that takes the same kind of um <coughs> technique i would say to getting it to cook properly like basmati rice is something where you have to rinse it three times and yeah jasmine rice basmati long just grain. for the grains to extend <coughs> that's why i call it long grain if you don't rinse it and you just cook it then you got all this starch and you wonder mm-hmm. why it's so starchy and, and it's mm-hmm. hard it's really it's a different consistency now the difference with quinoa is with it being gluten free you don't really have to worry about too much starch but it can get very very mushy to where it's just like oh yeah. my gosh so you have to cook it right <laughs> and you have to fluff it afterwards you have to fluff I it i skipped that step before fluff it ended it with up a with fork mush. not a not a spatula y'all fluff not a spoon <laughs> a fork a fork fluff it with a fork that will help you to you know keep keep the balance with the quinoa mm-hmm. so but of course we always do <coughs> encourage you guys to make sure all of our faithful subscribers out there i'm pretty sure y'all should have a book of our recipes by now mm-hmm. but of course if you are new to our uh mm-hmm. channel or to our show however you want to call that i feel like i'm on youtube right now <laughs> <laughs> but we do welcome you and we always encourage you to Get the recipes and things because we want to make sure that you are going to be a a la carte chef when you're done watching our show. But that also brings me to this portion of the show that is sponsored by The Sphere. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. 
We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our rich content and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every time. So call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. So you definitely, <coughs> definitely, I say this, y'all probably like, y'all know what I'm going to say. I say this every time because it's such a great opportunity and I feel like it's something that you all should take great advantage of. I mean, hey, why not? It's nowhere better than the sphere. It's nowhere better. <laughs> So go ahead. Make sure you have your recipe printed out, mm-hmm. your PDFs. There's Everything's online. Um, make sure you have your ingredients out ready, pre-chopped, pre-cooked, roasted, and you can follow along with us as we cook in the kitchen. Oh, we're yeah. making quinoa bowls today. Quinoa bowls. All right. We're headed to the kitchen. Welcome back to the kitchen portion of A La Carte. I'm your host, Chef Jones with Good Meal Deals, personal chef services. You can find me on social media, Instagram, Good Meal underscore deals, or on Facebook, Good Meal Deals. And I am your host, Chef Lornette, with Helping Hands Food Delivery. And you can find us on all social media sites at Helping Hands Food Delivery, where we bring you the freshest ingredients, boldest flavors, and just some good food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so welcome back to the kitchen. We are here um, with our Good, Better, Best options. Of course. We're going with the traditional, which is basically the healthy option. Um, this recipe was pretty much Good, Better, Best on all three options. On all three levels. You yeah. can't go wrong with it, so... So as we talked about earlier, there's several different ways you can prepare this dish depending on the flavor profile that you're looking for, whether Mm -hmm. it be Mediterranean, traditional, American classic, um, Italian, so on and so on. We went with a very American classic, traditional um, type of ingredients. So we're doing the quinoa bowls and our list of ingredients here are, um, we have kosher salt, pepper, lemon juice, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, um, regular butter. We have grape tomatoes. Uh, white button mushrooms, zucchini, shrimp, and green onions. And of oh, course, yeah. quinoa, which we've already prepared for you guys. We chose the red grain quinoa, um, prepared it per the pack- package instructions, and we have that ready for um, plating. Oh, so yeah. with our ingredients, how we're first going to get started is by cooking the shrimp and then sauteing our vegetables to put on top of the bowl. Yes. So let's get started. Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and get started with the extra virgin olive oil first. We'll put that in our skillet, which we have preheated. So it's going to be nice and hot. Oh, yes. And we're going to cook our shrimp first and then go back and add our vegetables. So we're going to add our shrimp in and then season it with salt and pepper. And you know it's cooking, all the sizzles going. (laughs) You want to have your heat on your stove about maybe a medium, medium heat, not too high. Don't want to scorch the shrimp, so. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to tell when shrimps are completed of course they change colors it's like magic they go from gray to pink yes so so we're cooking our shrimp in the extra virgin olive oil and then we're going to add our some of the garlic and some of the lemon sauce uh, lemon juice rather just don't want them to stick to the pan so scoot them around a little bit delicious and this is a very, very, very easy meal. And like Chef Lornette said, it's very, very healthy because you have the quinoa base, you have a lean protein, and all, these all vegetables. Healthy vegetables right in front of you. Of course, with that extra butter love and yes. that garlic and extra virgin olive oil, lemon, and kosher. So you can't go wrong with this one. So one thing we talked about with the shrimp, I mean the uh, tomatoes, it's going to be your choice if you want to cook them or leave them fresh or whole, raw. Um, we like to leave ours as they are. We just rinse them, slice them in half, and then put them on top. It mm-hmm. gives it a little extra acidic undertone when you bite into it. So everything, it doesn't, it gives you a little difference in texture. So you have some texture from the shrimp and the mushrooms, um, a softer texture because the zucchini is going to really soften when you cook it. And so we leave the tomatoes cold to give you that little bite, crunch, cold seeds and all that. So. Yeah, it balances out everything. You know, you got the cooked shrimp and the mushroom going to be cooked. Mm-hmm. Of course, everything is going to be cooked, so you want to have a fresh touch to the meal, and that's mm-hmm. what the tomatoes do. Now we're going to turn the shrimp over. I'm going to hit that pan. Oh, yeah. On the stove. Finish the pan. The pan. Light exhaust pan. Pan. The exhaust pan. 
Alright. Alright. Looking good. So Looking now that really we flip good. those, we're going to add in half of our butter. The other half is going to be for our vegetables. Half of our garlic. Looks delicious. A little more than half. Oh my gosh. And then just a little bit more of the extra virgin olive oil. And that's just going to help for that everything to coat those shrimp really, really good. It's going down over here, you guys. <laughs> that smells delicious. So we're going to give that another minute or two now that we flipped it. And the shrimp are almost done all the way through. You can see they're turning white and pink. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. And at this time, this is when you're trying to let that garlic brown, of course. Mm -hmm. And that flavor just get on the shrimp. Just pretty much combining everything as it finish cooking. So. And then we're going to throw in just a little bit of the lemon juice. And basically with this lemon juice, it's going to intensify the flavor. It gives it that extra zing that it needs. And now that that's done, because the shrimp are cooked, we don't want to overcook them because they'll get rubbery. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to, like Chef Robin said, scorch the sides. We're going to take those out and let them sit. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. Delicious. All right. Man. So now that our skillet is still hot, we're going to add in the rest of the olive oil, mm -hmm. which is not much, but that's all we need. The rest of the butter. Oh, yes. Delicious. And we're going to add in our vegetables. Zucchini first. <laughs> Almost went down. And then the mushrooms. Oh, yes. Okay. <coughs> now we're going to season those with salt and pepper as well. That looks amazing. I was a little ginger with that. <laughs> and of course we chose to saute our veggies in the same pan as the shrimp just to pick up some of that garlic flavor and that lemon juice and just the flavor from the shrimp alone. It just helps to enhance the veggies even more. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take long for these veggies. Missed one. Uh oh. <coughs> Looks really good. Now we're gonna let those cook. And our green onion, we're just gonna use for a little bit of garnish on top. Um, it'll be on top of the shrimp. So we have our bowls. Like I said, we pre-cooked uh, our quinoa for you. We follow the package instructions. So a key, few key tips that we talked about earlier. We just want to mm -hmm. reiterate. Make sure you rinse your quinoa you before you cook it. <laughs> it's a grain. It has to be rinsed. It's called, it's basically like elongating the, yes. the, um, the germs. The germ those. around it. You'll yes. be able to tell. It's like a flower, basically. It, just, it opens up. It sprouts from around the yes. ring of you the have quinoa. To rinse so. it. If you don't rinse it, it's going to be really mushy yes. or really hard, one or the other. It it's going to take extreme. really long to cook also. Yeah. So you don't want to do so that. It, it should take 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, make sure you rinse it until the water is clear. Depending on which color quinoa you choose, it's going to have a, a, a tint on the water as you rinse it. Make sure the water is clear and then cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes. When you're done with a fork, make sure you use a fork, fluff the quinoa, and then let it sit for another five minutes or so in the pot. Um, after we did all that, we put it in the bowl and then we're going to put our vegetables on top, the shrimp, and then the green onions. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to start with um, the tomatoes first. Oh, I'll show yeah. Robin stirring the vegetables. Now these are grape tomatoes. You can get small salad tomatoes or aroma and cut dice them yourself, but we prefer the grape tomatoes. They have a little bit of a firmer texture and we just cut them in half. So we're just going to put those into oh, the bowl yeah. there. That looks really good. Now this is a really, really colorful meal. You have the red quinoa. Of course the tomatoes are red, but it's a different contrast. Yes. The yes. green onions. You have the shrimp, that golden brown, pinkish color, and then you have your mushrooms and your zucchini. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Now you can see if they're done by the texture. It's going to be a preference um, for you, mm -hmm. how soft or hard you like your um, zucchini and mushrooms. Yeah. We like them to have a little bit of texture on them um, to contrast. So maybe another minute or two. Mm -hmm. Another minute or two and then we can remove it from the pan. 
And as you see, as it cooks, the mushrooms, they decrease in size. Mm -hmm. That's that's another indicator with mushrooms to let you know, okay. How and, done they are. And of course, for the zucchini, it softens up. Now, I'm the kind of person, I feel like if you microwave zucchini cut up, you don't really have to cook it. Mm -hmm. So that's like one of the key things I do when I meal prep. I don't really cook. I don't cook the zucchini because you microwave it. Mm hmm I season it. I pre-cook. I guess I could say I pre-cook it a little bit, but I don't cook it to where. Yeah. I cook it to where the seasoning able to stick to it. Yeah. And yeah. then I let you handle the rest when you reheat it. So. Mine is going to skillet. it. <laughs> <laughs> I need mine in the skillet. I need some direct heat. <laughs> mine. Oh yes. So so I think it's it looks ready pretty now. Good. Yeah, looks pretty good. All so right. we're gonna take this, our veggies here. It looks and amazing. Spoon them right on top of our quinoa. Now, don't be stingy with the veggies either. Oh, yeah, don't be stingy. The more veggies, the better. All right. That looks delicious. Yes, it does. All right. And then we're going to add our shrimp right on top. Man. Now, you can't tell me eating healthy is not good. Right. This right. looks amazing. I mean, this look, looks just as good as a... It's packed with flavor. Oh, yeah. Flavor and all the nutrition. So, it's like you're eating good, flavorful meals. Get that extra juice off of there. Yeah, yeah. We'll can't take go that. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it has that lemon in it and the garlic, so it kind of helps with the flavor profile. And the butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And oh, then yeah. we're just going to sprinkle a few of our green onions on top. Looks amazing. There we go. And that is the finished product. Now, of course, we have extra tomatoes. So if you want more tomatoes, feel free to put more. Use all the tomatoes, mm -hmm. extra green onions. How are you feeling? Yes. Put it in there. You can always do more. So you can find more tips on the recipe, as always, on the website. You can find all of the ingredients and the um, instructions on this www.thesphere.tv slash a la carte. Make sure you click on the a la carte channel and um, let us know how you guys like the recipe. We're, we're looking for that feedback. We want to understand how you guys interacted, if you cooked with it, how you liked it, how you liked the ingredients, or if you chose a different flavor profile than what we did today. Oh, yes. There's so many creations that you can make with yes. this meal. So, I with mean, our good, better, best, we went over a ton of different options. So oh, yes. <laughs> which one did you guys choose? That's going to be the question of the day. <laughs> So oh, yeah. thank you for joining us in the kitchen. As always, I'm Chef Laurinette. And again, you can find us on all social media at Helping Hands Food Delivery. Oh, yes. And of course, I'm Chef Jones with Good Meal Deals, personal chef services. And you can find me on Instagram, Good Meal underscore deals, or on Facebook, Good Meal Deals. Oh. And let's eat. It's time to eat let's some quinoa bowls, okay? Of course, <laughs> of course. So we hope yeah. to see you guys next week. And make sure you guys are tuning in to all our major platforms. Mm -hmm. iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, wherever you can see us or hear us. We want to we wanna know that you're there. So make sure you guys are subscribing and sharing as well. So mm -hmm. we'll see you next week.